Hello, welcome to tonight times. Tonight's nighttime natters. It's the 30th of April, the last day of April. And today I've noticed as well that Mel Faulkner and Kira are doing afternoon natters, copying my ideas. Well, I suppose impersonation is the highest form of flattery. Not that you're doing impersonations of me. But, um, OK, afternoon affairs, you should call it, not afternoon natters. All right, girls. But um, I enjoyed watching it. It was funny. And um, you're with uh, uh, your daughter. It's, it's, it's lovely. You know, um, I've just got I've had a, a, a lovely day today. Do you know when you see someone and you think that it's someone else? Well, today I was on the beach that I normally go to, as you know, and um, and uh, I was on the beach and I glanced across to my right and I thought that I saw one of my ex-boyfriends, one of them who I was, went out with about, I think it's nine years or eight years ago. And, um, oh, I loved him. Oh, I loved him. You know when you just fancy someone? Oh, I really, really did. And I really thought it was him. Really, really thought. And I saw him in the water and I thought, oh, what's he doing in Tenerife? So anyway, I walked towards the water and I went in and I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked. And a big bloody wave come and knocked me and knocked me towards him. And I went over fell over in well, I was underwater I wasn't I didn't fall over but you know I was knocked by the wave and it but only for it obviously it's a nudist beach if it weren't for the fact that I held on to, I held on to his penis and I realized that it wasn't who I thought it was because this person had a bigger penis than my ex-boyfriend but I tell you what it was like a dream come true for me you know Kissing the, or well, being with someone that you absolutely adore, you know, you loved, and and had a bigger penis, absolutely lovely, but um, it wasn't them. But he, they were Spanish, and we chatted, and you know, and then afterwards, uh, he said, um, "Is your is you, is you okay? Are you okay?" Because there was a you know a bit of a blood, and I cut my foot and I cut myself, and he helped me put some cream on my back and I put some cream on his back and I noticed I said oh I said uh, he said oh you've got cuts I said yes I said and I put the cream on your back and you've got a bit of a swelling haven't you yourself so I had to take care of that and then this evening I come home and I made myself a nice little tea and then Maria Maria don't touch that I'm having it tomorrow I can hear you opening the cupboard do not touch it I want to have that tomorrow. I'm going out tomorrow. Sorry. And um, Maria, put it back. And I did a gig tonight at the Royal Sunset Beach Club. And Margaret and Ron Trustley came to see me. And she's a follower of mine on here. And she said she loves the nighttime natters. And I was on stage tonight. It was lovely. And she said she, she went to ask me. Um, why I wasn't at Sunset Arbor anymore and she went down and they said do you know where he's working and they said no we don't well they do but they obviously don't want to say because I packed it and whatever and I'm not going to tell tales on my nightly natter because this is a fun loving thing but I did tell her about my cuts and bruises and she said to me um, that I've got a nice bottom well as you know um, I like to share and um, I, if I get reported for this I should go mental because it's not nudity or pornography. I'm just showing you what's happened to, to me today on the beach. I've got cuts and bruises, ladies and gentlemen. I've got cuts and bruises. So I'm going to show you what's happened to me today down there on the beach when I got swept away, you might as well say, swept away. So I'll have to be very careful how I do this because I'm just waiting for this light to come on. That's it there um, because I don't want to show anything full frontal though I'm not ashamed of, of whatever but um, I have hurt myself quite severely I'm going to stand like this probably you'll see um, on here um, on my bum down there can you say oh no I've got to turn the camera around haven't I silly boy hold on a minute look hold on look my belly Look, can you see that? Oh, look, my belly, I'm putting on weight. No way. Look, I've 
cut my bottom and my foot down there. You see? And I think I did my arm as well, I'm not sure, but yes, so. Oh, you can see me in the mirror, look. Oh. Anyway, uh, my friend Jackie Kent said, you keep saying, uh, 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 and I can't stop saying it now, but I'm not going to say it any, anymore. Anyway, Ron, they came to see me at Royal Sunset Beach Club, and she said, oh, where's my phone, where's my phone? So I made them change seats, because, you know, I said, come and sit near the front. And she said, oh, I've lost my phone. And I, I mean, I stopped singing, and I said, look, we've got to find this phone. Got to find this phone. I said, because... Because um, it's not very fair, you know, I wouldn't like it if my phone's gone missing. So anyway, I said to people, if they could be quiet, we've got someone to ring it. She said, Who's, oh, they're not going to answer it. I said, well, you never know. You might hear it ringing. Well, not only did we hear it ringing, it was vibrating. And she was sitting on it. Wasn't you, Margaret? <laughs> sitting on it. I said, I know your game. Well, there you are. Maria! Maria! Stop it! You're on that computer! Do you know, I think that it was her that messed up my computer, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I've told you about that. That's another story, though. That is an absolute other story. But, you know, um, I did mix up my... Because uh, I've got hemorrhoids as well, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to tell you this. But um, this evening, I did mix up my hemorrhoid cream with my toothpaste. You know, so... Oh, I've, my teeth, I put the hemorrhoid, the hemorrhoid cream on, on my teeth. And it was like, oh, no, oh, oh, yeah. But my bum's minty fresh. Sleep well. <laughs>